All right, guys, we are going to talk about some more physical geography of Virginia. We're going to talk about the four major rivers in Virginia, and we're going to talk about a place called Lake Drummond and the Great Dismal Swamp. We're going to start by leaving a space at the bottom because that's where we're going to make our sentence. Again, I'm going to give you another sentence to help you remember these four major rivers. So we're going to start by making our goofy little Virginia Triangle. Sometimes it looks better than others, but that's okay. All right, so this is Virginia. And I'm going to outline right here in blue, right on the top of Virginia, where if we remember from yesterday, Maryland would be over here. And this is a river that you might be familiar with because if you remember, we live kind of like right here. So we are very familiar with the Potomac River. So I'm going to put Potomac. If you've ever been to Occoquan and seen the water over there, that is the Potomac River. Matter of fact, if you've ever been to Leesylvania or any of the water sources very close to this area, that is the Potomac River. All right, my next river is goes about right here. And if you notice, if we live here, this, is, this river is south of us, it goes down, it's below us. And that's around Fredericksburg. And this river is called, and I'm gonna take another color. It's called the Rappahannock, and this is kind of hard to spell. So I'm gonna write it. Whew, that is a mouthful, the Rappahannock River. So if you've ever been down to Fredericksburg, Stafford area, and you've gone swimming in the river there, that is the Rappahannock. All right. The rivers you might be a little less familiar with, this next one is called the York River. A little bit easier to spell. And we'll discuss that when we start talking about Jamestown a little bit more. And then our last river that flows kind of right here. This would be near Norfolk, um, Virginia Beach area, is the James River. This river was very important. This was the first place they settled when they came over here. So we're gonna learn about Jamestown, which was actually the first permanent settlement in Virginia. And then the last thing that I'm gonna draw in the map is right down here, there's this, I'm gonna just make it a little like, like a lake, it's more like a lake and it kind of extends from Virginia to North Carolina. If we remember, North Carolina is down here. And this lake is called Lake Drummond. Okay, and Inside of this place called the Great Dismal Swamp is where Lake Drummond is found. And we will learn all about this swamp land, this Great Dismal Swamp and how close it is to the James River and where they settled Jamestown. And they didn't know they were settling Jamestown on swamp land and they found out that that was not such a great idea. So we're gonna learn a little bit about that. So Lake Drummond and the Great Dismal Swamp are actually really important to our story. All right, now for our sentence, we're gonna do exactly what we did yesterday and we're gonna create what's called a mnemonic device for to remember the rivers, the Potomac, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James. So we're gonna take the first letter of each one and we're gonna write our sentence. So the first one is principles. Principles. P, P. And then we're going to use the R, race. And then 
we're going to use the Y yellow. I'm going to end up writing into my notes over here on the bottom. And then the last word is, oops, sorry. Jaguars. And a jaguar, if you don't know, jaguars. If you don't know, a jaguar is a, an old sports car. So principles race yellow jaguars, and that follows the orders of the rivers from top to bottom. Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James. All right. Remember when you're doing this video that you can pause it at any time so that you can make your notes at your own pace and make sure you get them done so you can share with your class tomorrow. Good job, guys.